What's going on guys, it's your average consumer, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the North Face Access Pack in a new series I like to call Dope or Nope. Now, when this guy was first announced, I was super hyped because you guys know how I feel about backpacks, and North Face was making a tech-oriented version, which is really cool because North Face has quite the history with making backpacks. I've owned a few myself, but let's take a look at the design of this guy. If you look here, you'll probably think it looks like a shell, which you'd be right because this guy has a built-in frame that gives it this structure as well as a special way of opening up when you want to get inside. Now even though this guy's a bit on the big side, one thing that I do like about this is that it still looks really, really sleek. As you can see, there are no compartments or pockets that you can see on this guy which gives it a really nice sleek look. Now, I'm a big fan of the design here. The sides are made out of a denim material with this ingrained honeycomb look going for it. And you actually have this ribbed look going in the front. It's all black, and of course they've got the North Face the, uh, logo up here. But in the back, you've got pretty much the same thing going on. You've got some of that denim. You've got some padding for your back so it can be very comfortable. And one thing I can say, even though this is big, it is comfortable. One thing that you guys might notice is that without any real side pockets, that means you don't have anything to hold a bottle of water, which to me, not really a big deal since I never really carried water within my uh, backpacks, but I know that's a big criteria for a lot of you guys. So I know that might be a deal breaker for a few of you. But enough of that, let's take a look at what makes this guy special and let's take a look inside. Now, when you wanna open this guy up, you're gonna notice that there's a little latch at the top and this is where things get kind of cool. You just hit the latch and watch. Boom. Now, this is hands down the coolest feature of the Axis Pack. And this is where you store everything. So when you're taking a look inside, you see it's got this mustard colored lining and it actually has the pockets and the compartments so you can pack all your tech. And a really awesome feature with the pockets and linings in here is that they've all got these little tabs with each tab, you can kind of pull it up. Problem number one, they don't always work. So you're supposed to be able to just pull it up and then pop out whatever item is inside of here. But like I said, they don't always work. Some work better than others. This guy right here, as you can see, I just pulled it up. I have access to my phone, just like that. That one works, but this tablet one, not so much. I always have to just pull out my tablet whenever I need it. So I put that to the side. But this is what it's supposed to do. Now, they've got a couple of parts, two parts to hold some phones, one bigger than the other because some phones are bigger than others nowadays. So you got two of those, which is really cool, so you can pick and choose which side you wanna use. You've also got some slots for your pens and pencils, so you guys going to school can use these. And you've got a spot for, of course, books. And I, of course, have, have to have my tech survival kit, so that's with me. Now, I've also got this little zipper right here where it doesn't hold much, but can take a couple more pens. Uh, even got a little flash drive that I like to carry around. At the very top where the shell opens up, got a booster board controller and this little compartment that holds the cables for whatever devices I might bring around with me. But that's about it. Don't really have space for much more than this. Uh, you guys know that I typically carry way more than we're looking at right here on this desk. And that's my biggest issue with the Axis Pack. This guy is pretty gigantic, but that's all the framing that gives this guy its structure and the ability to do this and you know, little things like that takes up all the space to really get this thing as packed as I would like. It's cool that this thing has specific spots for things like your phone or your tablet, but if you're someone who's not very organized and you just like to throw your things inside, it's very limiting and it doesn't offer a ton of space for you to be able to do that, which I have a problem with. Now, another drawback is that you got two little uh, pockets over here on the sides and you can put things like your MacBook charger, or let's see, I've got some earbuds. So you've got stuff like this, which is cool, but this, these pockets actually take away from the space inside, which was already limited. Now in the back where you store your laptop, you actually can open this guy up just from the top. And there's another little tab here 
you can go just like this and you've got access to your MacBook, which is a cool feature, yeah. But I'm not really sure how practical it is. I can kind of just open this up all the way and pull it out without it being a big deal. So, I mean, it's, it's nice to have, I guess, but it doesn't really add to the functionality here. You've also got one more little slot in the back where you can store something else, like a small flash uh, hard drive, solid state drive. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so you can do that. And honestly, guys, that is all that I can carry in this backpack. This is nothing compared to what I can carry in a backpack that I got from Amazon for 25 bucks. This guy retails for 235. And yes, I do like the fact that it has this structure that'll protect your tech and it gives it this cool little opening, but it really does take away from what you can actually do with the backpack. So when it comes to dope and nope, I'm gonna have to give this guy a nope. I don't think it's worth the money. I think that maybe the next generation, if North Face pursues it, can be a lot better. There are some things that they can improve upon. I don't recommend you guys buying it. I've used quite a few backpacks in the past and I'll have links down below if you wanna check out those backpacks. Those are all solid options. This one, I can't say it is. I was hoping it would be the next gadget backpack, but not so much. But that about wraps it up, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know how you like this Dope or Nope series. If you wanna see more products featured this way, let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.